Hey everyone! So it's the same day that I uh, filmed my Trigger's Piercing video. I believe it was either October 6th or October 7th. I don't know. Whatever. And um, my allergies are still here. A whole two minutes later. I did change the sweatshirt I was wearing just because I thought maybe it would make it less obvious that this was on the same day. But I mean, who am I really kidding? Like, let's look at this bright green shirt and all that fun stuff. So today I'm going to making a video all about my rib tattoo, which was my first tattoo ever. So I got it on September 16th of this year, obviously. And so yeah, this video is just going to be all about that. Then I also have a video that's 28 minutes long of me getting like the whole tattoo and stuff. And like, the, it also includes obviously me like breaking my best friend's hand because I was squeezing it so hard because of like the pain. And, um, so that's going to be a separate video I'm going to post, so you don't have to watch that video because I don't think many people are going to be interested interested in a 28 minute long video of someone just getting their rib tattooed. But, um, what I'm going to probably do is I'll just, like, uh, speed it up so it's, like, gone, like, really fast to sped up, not, like, play music behind it or whatever. I'll figure out how to do that because, like, I don't know how to do any editing stuff, okay? So, um, yeah. But oh, and by the way, for, like, um, my age and stuff, um, I know I'm probably gonna get hate for that, but I went to a reputable tattoo shop, like, uh, they're licensed, and in the state where I live in, in Michigan, there's not a legal age that's set, it just is up to the tattoo shop, and I had my parents there, um, well, my mom was there, my best friend was there, my sister was there, and I had my birth certificate, my school ID, and my mom also brought her driver's license, so with all of that, they allowed it, and I, I just called ahead first just to make sure. And the amount that I paid for my tattoo was $85 plus a $15 tip. And I thought that was very reasonable because it is um, like a tattoo. It doesn't have like a lot of detail. It's just a script. But, um, you know, the artist helped me took his time. He was very nice, very friendly, all of that stuff. And uh, the quote says, every storm runs out of rain. And what that kind of means, like, I'm not, gonna get, I'm not going to get into the whole meaning behind it because we would literally be here for at least an hour just talking about that. But basically, as I talked about in my last video, or the video before, my Chagas Piercing video, I talked all about how I struggle with, like, depression and anxiety, like, chronic um, depression and anxiety. And um, it kind of ties in with that and, like, me with, like, struggling with self-harm and stuff like that because... Like, it sounds so cliche, just be like, I'll just look down at my ribs, and every time I see the quote, I'll just get through it. But, like, and obviously it doesn't work like that, but I feel like it's just, like, a nice idea that I have, that humans have in general. It's just, like, some kind of hope or something, and it makes us feel better. So, anyways, though, um, I would say the tattoo, on average, was, like, a 9 to an 11 on the pain scale out of 10. But there was one part, kind of, by, um, I'll show you. It like right about there it did not hurt like at all like at all like i felt the vibration and that was it so i don't know i didn't just show you guys but here's what the tattoo looks like um so every storm runs out of rain and if you're wondering, I actually do know what the font is. I found it on dafont.com. I'll be sure to link that below. And the font is called Dragon is Coming. And so, yeah, that's the name of the font. And then um, the tattoo took about, I think, 28 minutes or so. Uh, like, the video was 28 minutes long, so the tattoo was probably 25 minutes or so. And it was definitely an experience, to say the least. You know, it was pretty dang painful. Um, would I want to get another rib tattoo in the future? Like, I would probably do it. I would never really want, like, a full rib piece, though, because I just don't think I'd be able to sit for that long. Like, as you can see, this tattoo is not even that big, and I struggled with that. But, you know, whatever. Um, do I plan on getting more tattoos in the future? Yes, just definitely not, like, a full-ass, like, rib piece, because just, probably not things, though. And so, to clean it, my, uh, tattoo artist... He recommended that I get Aquaphor, and I did use that, and um, my tattoo artist's name, I believe his name was Trip, and I got my tattoo at Raining Ink in Rockford, Michigan, and so I'm just going to go over to my bathroom really quick, and I'll be right back, because I want to show you guys what the Aquaphor looks like, as well as the uh, lotion that I used. And here's what it looks like, right there, Aquaphor, 
and I'm pretty sure it's reading it as backwards, so I'm sorry if it is. I don't know if it'll look normal after, um, like, the video's posted on YouTube or not. But you can just get this at, like, any, like, I guess pharmacy or stuff like that. I don't know. My mom got it for me while I was at youth group. And so I don't actually know, um, like, where she got it. I believe she said she got it at Meyer. And it is kind of expensive, she said. I think she said it was 6 or $7. And... What I did with this was I just took enough to cover my whole tattoo, and I would say for the first week, I probably put it on three or four times a day, which might be too much. I'm not completely sure, to be honest, if that was too much or not, but, um, like, I didn't really get any crusty stuff on it. I didn't get any scabs. I did get dry skin, but that didn't last for too long, and it did start itching, I would say, on day five. I just had, like, a little bit of an itch. And then it was kind of like more and more and more. And But honestly, the itching was not that bad. And I would say that lasted for, I don't know, like five or six days. And then my tattoo was fully healed, I would say, by about two weeks or two and a half weeks. It was when like I really was like, it's healed now. And then what I did do, though, was after, I think, day five, I would just do the Aquaphor, you know. But then also, before I went to bed, I would put this on it. It's by personal care. It says... Men's lubricating three in one lotion, and uh, I have no idea where we got this. My mom just had an extra bottle of it, like laying in her uh, bathroom. Probably like my dad bought, like she probably just brought my dad lotion, and he had an extra bottle of it. So this is what I used, and I don't believe that there's any specific type of lotion that you need to use as long as it is like unscented, and it doesn't have like a special color to it or anything. So just like plain white lotion with no smell. And that's like what I would recommend. And so, yeah. And then with the um, aftercare of the tattoo, that's like all I really did. And then with um, my showering, for the first like two or three showers I took, like I read this online and I don't really know if it was true or not, but I was like pretty paranoid about like the ink like running out of my body or something. Like I was scared that like the ink was just gonna like leave kind of. So I read this online, and I'm not entirely true if this is, like, correct information, so please do not quote me on it or anything. But what I did at the end of my showers, because I take pretty hot showers, for about 30 seconds at the end of my shower, and, like, it sucked, but I did it. What I did was I just had, like, really cold water on and running in the shower, and then I would just kind of tilt my body, and I would just let the cold water run onto the tattoo to, like, close the pores around the tattoo so the ink wouldn't, like, go out. And I do not know if that's proper information or not, so please, like I said, do not take that as, like, advice. It's just, like, something that I read. You can do more research on it, and say that's something that you would consider doing for yourself. That's what I did. That's what I personally wanted to do, and it turned out fine. And then I do need to go in right now. Like, I'm not going today, obviously, but I need to go, and I need to get, like, a little touch-up. It's on some certain parts where the ink didn't completely take, like, where the um, E on every is, like, the swirl on it. There's like a, there's like a teeny little parts where the ink cannot completely take. And then here's, let me show the tattoo one more time. And the most painful spot was definitely right here. You know, it's like right on the rib cage that really hurt. And then right here actually was not too, too bad. And then, like, right around here was, like, pain-free because it's pretty squishy. And then all the rest was definitely, like, a 9 to an 11 on the pain scale. And, yeah. So, um, I think that's about it for my rib tattoo. I'm sorry I don't have that much to say about it. It was pretty easy, um, for the healing process. Definitely not for actually getting the tattoo, though. This was my first tattoo, and I would not recommend it as your first tattoo. But... I also read that online, and I did not pay attention to it. I did it as my first tattoo, and I was fine. So it is up to you and, like, what you think that you can handle. And be sure to be on the lookout for that video. I'm going to upload that very soon, I promise. All about, um, it's, like, me getting the tattoo. I'm going to post that video. And, yeah. So, I hope that you guys have a good day. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like my tattoo, or if you just think that this video was at least decent, or any other reason you can think of, you know, whatever. I got a Zane because um, I got some ass shit to do. But I'll talk to you guys later. Alright. Bye.